Hey guys, what's going on? I am going to stream for a little bit. Let me get everything set up. Make sure everything's working right. I'm actually painting a softball helmet really fast. If I can find Facebook, YouTube. I gotta change that graphic for real. I'm gonna do it next. Just wanna make sure this is muted. Ooh. Okay, I wanna move that away. over here real fast and then we can go and work on stuff I'm a little neurotic I get to get this set up perfectly perfection yeah it's cool that'll work whatever whatever I say that Um, this muted. All right, that's cool. That'll work. Hey guys, what's going on? I am do 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 right here on Facebook Live, just doing uh, a softball helmet. So I'm painting all kinds of stuff. Let me find my feed so I can hook this up to my chat so I can see what's going on. All right, cool. So I'm gonna close this up, blah, blah, blah. All right, so what I'm doing is a uh, softball helmet. I paint a lot of these actually every year, usually around, usually around like the summertime and the spring. So I can paint all kinds of stuff like helmets, whatever. So this one in particular, actually, let me see what it says. I'm gonna do like a little name on here and then I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna paint actually, I don't wanna say draw. Uh, like kind of a design on the side. And uh, thanks everybody for watching and checking me out. I'm doing the word des. So I'll start off with like, put this right here, a D. E. And this is just like the outline of the, the name. It's kind of like a graffiti font. E. E and then a Z. I said like five E's. I said like five E's, there's only one E, okay? Z, so the next Z. It's actually a nice and, it's not a long name, so that's kind of cool. You can play around and do some like really cool big letters on it. All right, so that's like a quick name, a little sketch I did real fast. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, hey, what's up Josh, Antonio, Katrina, all you guys, uh, Jenny. I'm doing a softball helmet, I'm outlining right now. And this is a, a wicked black. So if any you guys that are uh, airbrushers too that are following me, that's what I'm using. I, I like doing these cool graffiti fonts. There's a really good artist from Australia that showed me how to do these. I met him, he's a really dope guy. Uh, and uh, he showed me some graffiti fonts. So I, I like to mix that. Sometimes it might work when I do it for like a, uh, you know, fun kind of like stylistic thing I'm doing. So that's the name, and then sometimes I'll do this. I'll actually get a white, and I'll add a little flare and some kind of stuff to it. I can grab it right here. Let me turn it. Oh, actually, let me turn it so you guys can see it. Right, better right here. There you go. I'm blocking the screen, man. Okay. You'd be like, hey, bro, I can't see. All right, so that's like a DE. So I'll outline it all in white. What's going on, guys? And this gives it like a nice, kind of cool, 
hard outline. And this really makes it stand out from the background. Because the team colors are like a purple and gold. And if anybody like knows anybody in softball or wants softball stuff done, I added a link to my uh, a link in there so you can get like a link to a website, save some money. It's like fifteen dollars off whatever I do, and it's kind of cool. You can get some customized. Okay, so then I add a white right here. Just want to outline that right here. What's up, guys? And then I want to add some like a little cool dot right here. And then inside, and what this does is creates like, like neg uh, really like emphasizes the negative space, like inside the letter right there, right? So that's why it's like, you know, brighter. Hey, what's up? What's going on, Jenna? Appreciate it. Thank you. And then I'm outlining again, right here. And this is like really stylistic of a lot of graffiti art. I'm trying to get some crazy right here, right? So, like the dots and the swirls, that's kind of like the uh, cool look, but kind of keep it really nice and clean and neat. That's really important. And that's what a lot of airbrush artists struggle with when they start, keeping things super like, you know, tight and neat, these like letters. And that just comes with like time. I know I was that same way when I started, like, totally different than what it is now. It's a lot of practice and learning. Adding some more like swirls and stuff right here. So you guys can see it like that, it's a little better. So I like painting on all kinds of different surfaces. This right here is a, uh, it's like a plastic. It's a hard plastic. And uh, you know, the great thing about airbrushing is you can paint on any kind of surfaces, like not just plastics, but like metals, aluminum. Um, I'm working with some stuff for like special effects on latex. I mean, it's endless. And that's what I love about this tool, this medium of art. What's going on guys? Thanks for joining me. And if you're checking me out, I'm just doing a, a name, a kind of graffiti style name and a softball helmet for a customer, and I thought I'd stream it live while I'm doing it for a little bit, so you guys can see what I'm up to. And just adding like some flare and some bright white around it. And then, see how it's really white right here? What I want to do is like overlay a, like a purple in that, so. And I was, I was gonna keep it white, but now that I'm working on it, and that's how I work a lot too, it's not, everything isn't methodically planned out, it's kind of like, I feel like I want to do something, so then I'll try to do it. Some like experience. It's kind of like a lot off a of feeling, if that makes any sense. All right, there. I feel like those hippies, like, dude, totally, you just gotta feel the art, man. Like, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Maybe they're right a little bit. All right, so that's done. And then now I want to add some fluorescent purple. How's it going, Diablo? Good to see you live tonight. Hey, what's up, man? And for letters? Hey, I saw your work. I saw uh, your channel. I was checking it out. Dude, you looking nice. Thanks. Appreciate it. The white makes it stand out. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I usually use that white um, to make it stand out. And it's kind of further off camera. I usually have it tuned in. But, I don't know, you know, I'm gonna see around, I'm gonna see some stuff, you know? Des is gonna love it. Oh, yeah, hopefully, she, yeah, I'm gonna do something really cool, make it, like, extra, you know, some design. I always, like, kind of, like, doing a little, little more. You know, I'm gonna put some lightning in it, actually, too, because that's the base off the photo. I just want to get these nice, uh, transparent colors, and that's what I'm doing, is overlaying a transparent color on here. And then I'll show you how I do like some cool, like quick lightning. Oh, no problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. You know, uh, was it uh, the hand art you're working on? I forgot what it's called exactly though. Heine, is that what it was? No. Um, so, adding these here. And then what I want to do now is 
blow dry it really fast. And that keeps the paint a little loud, but that keeps the layers drying super fast so to keep on working. And layer more paint on there. I'm gonna stand up because I'm like all into it now. So I'm just like freehanding some, I'll do some right here so you can see probably better. Some like little squiggly lines. And I like, a lot of times I'll one hand it. I'm lefty. Then everybody's a lefty out there. What's up? So uh, lefty, so I do it one handed and that keeps the, the lines like crooked, you know, it's not unbalanced and that really mimics the lightning effect. So that's like in a quick freehand lightning. And then maybe I'll draw some smaller bolts in there with a thinner line, getting closer to the surface, and then mixing it in. And that gives it like a cool depth of shadow, you know, I mean, depth of field. So, see like a little, kind of little lightning, and then some thicker lines like that and then highlighting them where it's supposed to be like right here, the kind of little spark there. Maybe like a little, there you go. Kind of like that, right? So that's pretty decent. And uh, did, uh, next, I wanna do the side of the helmet and I'm gonna do like a softball, kind of like a crazy like mean girl softball to match for the player. So I'll just freehand this too. And um, I'm gonna have the multitask uh, you shot, Ink Masters. But I'm about to start. <laughs> right on, man, Ink Masters, it's a really good show too. I checked it out a couple times. So I'm gonna do like a circle right here. And that's gonna be softball. So that's it, and I want to make the foundation really nice and white so that the color will show up brighter when I overlay it. It's going to be a nice, like, transparent color, like a, a neon yellow, because these softballs are like that yellowish color. Let me try it real fast. And uh, adding this yellow right here. Kind of shake it up. Sometimes the paint will stick inside to the bottom and it'll become out, come out watery. So, want to kind of just kind of dust it on there lightly. And that paint, I can see it's like super watery. So, it's it's the fluorescent colors are usually thinner, they're not as thick. So, that's why it's like that. Dry, dry, dry. All right. Dry now. All right, so the next thing to do is actually, am I doing this next? Yeah, I'll do that next. I kind of just draw the character right here. If it's all the way dry. Drawing the hair, little soft stroke does the trick. And you kind of make the hair anywhere you want it, kind of like have it curved and curled right there. So that's like the top of the hair. And then I'm gonna do the eyes right here on the side. And then I'm gonna do another eye. Yeah, well, this is the first eye, actually. All right, so that's one, so it's kind of one eye. I want to do that, like, kind of mean face right here, right? 
All right. Throw those teeth in there. And when I first started, I would always have to look at these little pictures, but I've done this so many times. Like you just, you just do it, man. You know how the teeth look and uh, everything else. And the other eyes kind of fit in. But I'll still kind of like draw it in there, even though you can't see it. Just for continuity reasons. You throw some eyelashes in there, right? And then right here will be where the uh, stitching is going. Maybe I'll extend it up there. All right. I kind of want to angle this up so you guys can see it better. I hope this works. It's kind of good. Okay. Yeah, that's better. All right. Perfect. It helps me too. All right. So the next color I want to use is like a brown. Hey, Jesse Rodriguez. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, Spur? Hey, doing good, man. Just uh, working on a softball helmet right now for a customer. I thought I'd stream live. If anybody's watching, check it out. I have these on my site and actually added a link to for a discount for people that watch the stream. Kind of cool or, you know, somebody share it. I appreciate it. Um, so then I'm adding brown for the hair. And that actually blends well because there's like a light yellow underneath. So that's nice. And then maybe put a little bit of like that brown in the eyes. And then finish the hair over here. And I'll kind of draw that in too. Oh, thanks man, looks cool, appreciate it. Thanks Jesse. Dude, well, I'm starting to lean a blur light so that's done. It has to be perfect yet still has a cool airbrush look to it. Um. Yeah, you know, it's, I wouldn't say perfect it has to be, but you got to really know how to use the tool. This is actually another question another user was asking. Um, that's what you really got to like respect the tool. And a lot of people think they can just pick it up and just start spraying and they're going to be Picasso. And like, no, like you're going to suck. And I was a really good, I'm a, you know, I can draw, I can see something and just draw it. But when it comes to like painting and airbrushing, I'm looking for my red actually while I'm talking. Where's it at? But when it comes to painting and airbrushing, it's totally like you can't put what you see unless you can use the tool to make it that way, if that makes any sense. So I'll just use this red, whatever, because I lost the color. Okay, well, I'm just going to put a little bit of red in here for the stitch, kind of. And then white, actually yellow again. I'm gonna have like a brighter yellow because this one's a little dull. This is kind of like a little golden yellow. Mix that in there. Yeah, that sticks out really well. And this is like a more opaque yellow. So let that dry for a minute. And while that dries, I'll come in with the white and then do like the cool highlights. I think that'll be cool. That'll be real cool. Uh, white, wherever that's at. Yeah, and it's, it's like I said, it's further from the camera, but when I do like white, like you'll see like with the eyes right here. and then makes it really pop for the teeth. Oops. So yeah, so it really makes the color pop. The teeth. Right here. And then I'm outlining the whole character right here. I know the other eye is like somewhere right here, so we'll draw that in there. And 
And there you go. And then if you want, you can kind of like define the hair a little bit back here. Maybe outline it like that. And you can continue the lightning going around her. All the way across. And then kind of maybe like up the cool parts right here in the side. And I mean, this is like a softball helmet, for example, but I mean, pretty much I can paint any kind of helmet, so it just doesn't really matter. Uh, just for, is this a Trump, <laughs> Trump ball? Uh, it's for us, yeah, softball. Just kind of doing it for a customer. Oh, with the orange? Yeah, <laughs> I get it now. I got you. Looks, yeah, I guess that kind of look right. And, um, do, 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 uh, so that's cool. Actually, what I wanted to do is I put that down and I didn't mean to. Uh, it was okay. Cool. Add like a little, the little softball stitches right here and detail right here. A little kind of like arrowy stitches. And then if you have a red too, because this one's really transparent, so I'm gonna go over it. Oh, thanks, Thomas. Yellow. Hey, amazing work. Love it. Hey. She's gonna love it, so I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. Appreciate it. I'm getting something for me and uh, being patient too, because I'm it's kind of hard for me to get to all my messages and all that stuff too. But um, adding a red overlay right there, which is good. And then I'm gonna dry it and then do a little bit of highlighting. And that'd be cool. Back to white again so and you see why i go back and forth back and forth a lot of people don't realize too how like, tedious and how many times you have to go back and forth but that's kind of what it takes to make something look really cool you know so it gets, some, it gets a lot of detail you know you gotta go over a lot of colors and things like that so that's a big part of this so there the ta-da and uh I kind of want to finish that off back here, I think. So I kind of want to have these lightning bolts go across the entire helmet. And let's lift it up like that so it's a better, yeah, you can see. Yeah, and guys, appreciate it. If you can, uh, you know, like, drop a like, share, all that good stuff. It helps out my stream a lot and gets it out there. And I uh, definitely appreciate that. And anybody that's watching that wants one too, got them on my website. There's like a link in there and uh, the discount code is cool. I added if anybody wants to check that out. So I'm just drawing all these lightning bolts everywhere. Maybe even over that part, which would be kind of cool. What's going on, guys? and uh, doing little lightning kind of like going through and over the big lightning bolts, kind of intertwining it, interlocking it. Kind of slow down right there. And this gives it like depth and dimension so I can, so it can really kind of, uh, you know, just, just be a complete kind of image across the whole helmet. And that's really cool, it kind of fades in and fades out. And you can kind of make some of that graffiti kind of swirls and everything in there. Hey, what's up guys? Appreciate it, drop, yeah, help me out, drop a share, like, all that good stuff. And then I can do like a little lightning kind of right here, little swirls. So that's the front again with the name. Um, and maybe I'll just outline it again real fast. That's good. There. And then I can come back with like a black. And then. Make it nice and bold and crisp and then like make some really nice sharp letters. So like I've been doing this for so long 
And I don't know, like a lot of people think it's graffiti and they give like graffiti a bad name or whatever. I don't think, it's not bad. And I think the reason people don't like a lot of graffiti art is because it's not done well. Like the letters aren't really sharp and vibrant. And if you can do it like that, I think, you know, it looks a lot better and then people will really like it and want something. So that's in my experience. They're like, you know, like, oh, you're a graffiti artist. I'm like, no, I'm, well, I'm, an air, I'm an artist. You know, I'm not a graffiti artist. I'm an artist. And then I do, you know, airbrush. That's a tool I use. And then when I, they see what I can do and they see it, they're like, wow, that's really good. You know, so I think when you show them, if you're an airbrush artist watching, show people what you can do and kind of, you know, have confidence in it, then you can sell, you know, make some stuff that people they are going to want. My little, little rant. A little artist rant. All right. So that's cool. So all the lines are connected pretty well, I think. Yeah, there it goes. There. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's fine. And then uh, just, that's pretty much it. And then I can, you know, clear coat it. Maybe I'll add a couple more highlights on here or something. You know, just to make it stand out a little more. I like to do that like in the corners. At the end is when I add the last highlights. And that's just because white is the last color I'm gonna add to it. So it's the top, the, the highest most layer. So I'll add that. And it's the, the lightest, the brightest, all that. And it's like a girl's softball helmet, so I'm gonna bling it out. Some bling. Some kind of sparkles. Yeah, you never have too many of those, man. Especially for girls, they love that. So I'm gonna add some cha ching. I usually get too crazy with this, though. That's alright. I don't know. I like it too. I like the little. Starburst? Is that what they call them? Like that? Yeah, there you go, right? That's cool. All right, added the starburst there. I think that's good. That'll work for the helmet. And uh, actually, I'll hold it up so you guys can check it out. And I did the uh, softball around here and did the name Dez on the front in like a cool graffiti font and added like lightning and these little blingy things all around it. And uh, pretty much this is the helmet and it's all done. And all I have to do now is clear coat it and everything and then it'll be good be good to go so here's a little quick stream just wanted you guys to check out kind of what i'm up to and uh kind of the different projects i do so appreciate it drop a like share all that good stuff that helps me out tremendously and uh, we'll see you guys again thursday and i'll have something set up some cool something different all right guys i'm out of here